A 32-year-old Zimbabwean woman who requested not to be identified says she received an injection of the HIV prevention drug called Carbotigreva while she was working in the U.S. She had been taking HIV prevention pills for seven years, but after she received the shot in April, and now that Zimbabwe has approved it, she's hoping to take the injection every two months. Well, I prefer the injection to the pill because the injection is convenient. You only get a shot um, after every two months. Unlike the pills, you have to take them every day at the same time, and there's a risk of defaulting because there are a lot of things that happens during the day or in life, actually. You might go to your funeral, you forget your pills at home. So with this injection, you only get a shot after every two months, and it's only six shots per year, which is better preferred to tablets. Zimbabwe is the first African country to approve the use of the cardboard gravum or CABLA. The U.S. approved the drug in December 2021 and Australia in 2022. Zimbabwe introduced a 3% AIDS levy in 1999 to help fund the country's response to HIV and AIDS. Individuals pay 3% income tax and employers and trusts pay 3% on profits for the effort. The World Health Organization has commended Zimbabwe for approving Gapot de Greva, saying it would pave the way to providing more safe and effective options for HIV prevention. The Medicines Control of Zimbabwe, or MCAZ, says for now, Gapot de Greva is only allowed for HIV prevention. There are going to be other, other um, preparations containing Gapot de Greva which uh, may be submitted at a later time uh, by the applicants or the manufacturers of the product, which will be used for treatment. But the current one, which has approved, is meant only for prevention of HIV and not for treatment. Dr. Nyaradzo Mugodi of the University of Zimbabwe Clinical Trials Research Centre headed the trials in nine African countries. She says the drug is very effective and is calling for Zimbabwe to roll out to grave them as soon as possible. Because us as African women, we continue getting HIV at alarming rates, and uh, one infection is one infection too many. When we've got something that works, we should make it available to the person or the persons who need it. Supporters say access to drug will also help Zimbabweans stop relying as much on other countries for drugs to treat HIV AIDS. Olambas Mavunga for viewing news Arare, Zimbabwe.